her spending white, partners in life, family and business. Through the ups and downs, we've overcome God as a witness. From the household of faith to real estate to what's happening now. We've got something to talk about. Hi, welcome to Reality Check with the Adolphs, and we're the Adolphs. I'm Willie Adolph. I'm Tequila Adolph. <laughs> yes, like the drink. <laughs> Willie? <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't say his whole name. His name is Willie T. Adolph, uh, Jr., mm -hmm. and tell us the story about your name. Well. Willie T. Adolph Jr. is uh, from my dad, but then as I grew up and met my love of life, uh, it's Willie Tequila Adolph. So I'm always a part of him. <laughs> All right, we'll get over the cheesiness. It's Reality Check with the Adolphs, and basically it's our talk show about being real. And Definitely. hitting some soft spots on uh, relationships, uh, life, children, marriage, working. Journeys. Yeah, journeys. Yeah. 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 Growth. Growth. Yeah. Certain seasons in life mm -hmm. changes to move forward. Definitely. And, you know, everybody feels that life stops once you get married. But honestly, it, it's a re-beginning, and it's always re-beginning, because after a while, after the honeymoon phase, you know, they say, oh, well, now this and now that. But you know, your honeymoon phase is what you make of it. Exactly. It could be, it could be every month, every year, however you want to look at it. Yeah. I, I think that out of our marriage, we, we got married December 31st. 1999. Gonna party like it's 1999. And the reason why, because I freaked out. <laughs> I can remember this so clearly. Um, it was the last week of December, and back then everybody was year Y2K, Y2K, and I was pregnant, and I said, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I'm not married. Computers go down. Anything happen to you, how am I going to provide for my family and my kids? <laughs> It was totally selfish. So I was at home freaking out, and he was at work, and I called him, and I said, Willie, let's get married. Okay. Exactly what he said. <laughs> exactly what he said. And I said, okay, are you serious? And yes. He, and he said, he said, yes, Keela, figure out, you know, what, what needs to be done. I hung up the phone. I realized at that time I was a hotel manager, so I always took the last week off of the year. And then, I, because I, for Christmas, I allowed my employees to be off. So I had that last week to rejuvenate. So that Monday, I got on the phone, found out that you had to go to the courthouse, get a certificate, then you get married three days after that. Then I had to find out where I wanted to get married. So it's a little white chapel where we, at that time, um, we were living off of South Main. Off of we're, South Main. We were like in the inner loop. Inner loop. We were the middle of all of what's going on because my best friend and I loved to party back then so we lived in the party area and so I called him and I said okay we got to go to the courthouse tomorrow on your lunch break I'll meet you over there one by your house <laughs> remember <laughs> and then uh, we're going to get married that Friday yeah I remember clearly so what happened when we went to the courthouse so we got to the courthouse and um First of all, she had tickets that turned into warrants. Then she had expired driver's license. And the biggest day, it says you must have a valid ID to get married. So 
We go in and I'm like, okay, I think I have a little money. We'll see what we could do. And I was saying it to myself. So we went in, filled out the paperwork, and then the big question came, I need to see your IDs. So we passed out our IDs, and I'm now looking around, because I'm, I'm looking for the police to come, because I'm thinking, because she said, I got to make copies. So I'm thinking she's going to go say, hey, she got warrants, ID expired, everything that's not supposed to happen, technically, happened. She came back, signed the papers, stamped it, and said, congratulations. I sat there. All just right, waiting. Go, come on, get on up. It's time to go back to work. I got what I wanted. <laughs> and that's pretty much how our relationship started. I ask, and he gives me what I want. Well, it's, yeah, basically. Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of a spoiled brat. We kind of realized that um, I was a, the attention person. And um, I don't know, I think you were the, the one that just knew that we were supposed to be together. And I was just trying to organized life to make it work right. for us. But you know, it's uh, how we met and what we did. I think that was the, the biggest thing, you know, um, going through the years and, and stuff like that. And then even after we, you know, got together, all the other things we've been through, what was that, Hurricane Alicia? Everything, it was immediate yes. when we got married. It was just immediate of everything. Um, it's just, it's just shocking how life can prepare, how God can prepare you for life by putting certain people in your life at certain times. Because before we got married, I was engaged three times and just couldn't commit. Couldn't I, commit. I couldn't commit because I've been asked to be get married several times and I didn't commit. I think when we got serious, you had a girlfriend. I had a friend. I think you had a girlfriend. I had a friend. <laughs> so he had to decide real quick who he wanted to be with. Yeah, and guess what? I think I made the best choice. Thank you. <laughs> so we have four children, a son in love, two puppies, and um, we've been married 21 years yes. this December. And we work together. And we work together. We're both real estate agents yes. for the state of Texas. And, you know, I think for us, that's one of the best things that we, we've done is because no matter what, we always have to be together. If we're mad at each other, we still have to work together. So we have to figure things out and make it happen. Yeah. And we, well, we worked together before. Yes. In mortgages. In mortgages. We started working together in 2003 in mortgages and um, we opened a child care center. Yes, now that was fun. That was fun, we did that for several years. Um, during the times when mortgages took a slump, we had to work for the church. Right, we had to find and scramble and instead of pointing fingers at each other or trying to make each other do something, we looked at each other and said, hey, we gotta do what we, we gotta, gotta do. do. Yep, it sure did. We lost everything except for our house. Yeah, we And did. we kept each other. Forever. Guys, we're going to go <laughs> to a commercial real quick and continue to part two of All About the Adolfs. This is Willie Adolph of the Adolph Group at Equity House Properties. I'm here today to talk to you about home purchasing. You know, a lot of times people want to know where do we start, when do we start, how much do we need to save, what our credit score need to be like, can I really move in now? And the answer is yes. The thing is, is that you want to get pre-approved first before you even go house shopping because what you wouldn't want to happen is that you find the perfect home, but the bank won't qualify you for your mortgage. So always get pre-approved first. So find a good lender, which we are having a lot of resources for you on that. Second, you wanna make sure that anything that's on your credit 
if it's something that you can work with, let's work with it. Because everything on your credit, you know, it depends on what it is for each mortgage company. And third, once you get that pre-approval, now it's time to go house shopping. Now, Willie, what about the money, the down payment and things like that? Well, they have a lot of programs that's out there. So based on your credit, it will depend on the down payment assistance that you can receive. But we do have a lot of resources and a lot of things that can help you. And everyone with the Adolf Group will hold you by your hand and walk you through the whole process. So you can contact us at www.theadolfgroup.com or 281-451-7087. And remember, when you have will, you have a way. Welcome back to Reality Check with the Adolfs. And this episode is our very first episode, and we're talking a little bit about ourselves. We want you to know about us, to love us, and to get the real story from the horse's mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to talk about what we do. We're uh, real estate real estate agents and um, we work for a broker and under the broker we have a team called the Adolf Group at Equity House Properties. Yes and it consists of six agents um, not including us and they're great I love working with them. Yes we also have another business called All Faith Investments and All Faith Investments is a corporation that Willie and I have come up with as a legacy for our children. We purchase homes um, and then we also invest in businesses. Right, because basically what you're doing is you, we, we're in it to gain wealth um, and it's for our legacy. The legacy is who you leave it behind with. You can make all the money in the world, but who are you going to leave it to? You know, you can't take it with you. Yeah, I think it was important for us to do this as entrepreneurs because we never know what life can turn uh, the next day. And uh, we have four children. 29, 19, 18, 18. And the twins are 18. Yes, twins. <laughs> no, Cam is 20? No. Uh, 19. 19. <laughs> well, twins have finally finished high school. And um, so we're kind of reconnecting because. We're dating again. Yes, we're dating again. And. Um, so we wanted to leave something for them because they were at the stage of us um, going through the ups and downs of business. So in their minds, they were always thought of us as being broke. <laughs> so when they, when they finished school, we were like, hey, we want, we want y'all in the real estate with us. And they're like, no, we're going to get a real job. <laughs> True story. True story. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll have other people, kids working with us except for our own. <laughs> no, they'll come around. So what else are we doing um, online that well, help people mentally? Well, what we also do is uh, help people with credit because a lot of, especially now, there's a lot of things that goes on. People don't really know what's on their credit until they need their credit. And then they don't work on their credit until they need their credit. And you have to realize that credit is like insurance. You don't need it till you need it. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. So with credit, you could do so much more with it, and it can actually help you obtain the wealth that you know that you want, that you need. And it don't even always have to be to obtain anything. It could just have a peace of mind, knowing that hey, everybody that I owe, we're in good standings. I'm, I'm not at my max limit. I'm paying them on time. And if life does occur, I do have something to fall back on and to build off of. And then, you know, that's God's word that we be good stewards of our money. Mm -hmm. A lot of people always say, well, it says in the Bible, you can't, you know, the love of money and all of this and all of that. But he doesn't expect us to be broke. Well, the he thing, wants us to be rich and in abundance. Well, the thing is, you just said it. The love of money is mm -hmm. the root of all evil. It's how you love money. If you love money more than anything else, that's where the evil comes in because that means you will do anything with no care repercussion to get that money. Exactly. And so that's why we invested um, our time as being instructors 
on an online in, uh, university called Collaborative U. Collaborative U is a group of kingdom leaders that you get online learning on different areas of your life. And we are in uh, the real estate section. Yes. And also, uh, Willie and I have, have uh, developed a class called Couples Bonding in Business. And basically, it's an online class that you order. You have a textbook and you have a, um, a workbook mm -hmm. on how to work with your spouse in business. Right, because a lot of people feel they don't look at it as working together as a good thing. They're like, man, I'm always with them. But who are you with every day? A lot of people say, well, I'm with my friends. Well, guess what? I'm with my friend. You know, what can you do with your friends that you can't do with your friend at home? And what I look at is I don't trust anybody else with a business, my money, my time, that, you know, who really has your back? Yes. And, you know, because money, you know, people say money changes you. It really doesn't change you. It brings out who you really are. Yes. Yes. We, so, um, <laughs> we when, were. when, not to say that we weren't happy when we were broke. I think our friction came when we did have money because we had just sold the daycare. And it was, we had plenty of money and there was friction. So that's not it. The thing is how you invest in your life and, and what we did, we, we sought out counseling and we realized through counseling what made us happy, making money helping others, and we went back to that. Yeah, and staying away from people with negativity and, you know, the he, he say, she say, because the problem is is that everybody says the grass is greener on the other side, at least they think they are, but our counselor told us sometime that green grass is artificial turf. <laughs> it's also green. So you have to remember how do you want your life to be because your life, you construct your life, you choose how you want it to be because the path that you put down is the path somebody else is going to follow and it may be your legacy yeah and choosing friends that was a big part yes because by us getting married in our late 20s we had both had separate sets of friends where you had your men's night and maybe i went on a girl's night or something like that and that was a big change that we had to to swift and and to make our marriage better. Definitely, definitely. So, you know, in that time, you know, we also help people about helping purchasing homes or, and also helping them to sell their homes for top dollars. So we, we give back to help others get stuff that everybody wants. Everybody wants to sell a home at some point in time and everybody wants to purchase a home at some point in time. And, you know, getting the information is free. And we're also excited about uh, the end of this year. We will be getting back into basketball. We are uh, community board members of Katie Youth Basketball. We used to own an uh, amateur athletic union basketball organization where we helped over, over, oh, over, over. hundreds of, of children get into college through basketball and playing sports. Right, because you just have to understand sports is a tool to get to education. So, you know, and I really enjoyed it. And it, would, it also helped us bond with many families. Yes, yes, and our children and growing up. Yes. That was, that was exciting. Well, we're gonna go to a commercial and when we come back, we have a special, a special episode for you. We're gonna get a little bit of more knowledge on ourselves <laughs> and give y'all some little pieces on all about the Adolfs. Let's be honest, making a lukewarm marketing video is fairly simple, but who wants lukewarm marketing? Instead, how about something that conveys your unique message? Well, that takes creativity, and creative is what we are. We design custom logos. We even offer professional print services. Our goal is to showcase how good your idea is, no matter what your product is. Whether it's social media marketing for a new author, or the artwork for the book itself, we can help. If you've created a new app and need a TV commercial to show it to the world, we can help. Now, they're Stork Advisor. If you're a photographer trying to show off your work in a unique way, we can help. 
Need a promo for your TV show? We can help with that too. It's Couch Time with Sonia. We're an artistic bunch and we love the creative process. We're not trying to be the best in Houston. We're trying to be the best for you. Hey guys, welcome back to Reality Check with the Adolfs. And we wanted to test ourselves. So what we did is the couples quiz. So I wanted to ask questions about Willie that I thought I know the answers and maybe that he might know the answers because as he stated before, what is that you say about when you get some money? You're supposed they to change or right. Something? You cha you change. So you definitely want to make sure. Let me see if you changed since the last time I knew these answers. <laughs> <laughs> but why do we have to write them down? Cause you change your answers in a heartbeat. You'd be like, you don't know me. Wrong. Boy, please. You know why? All you have to do is just tear it open. You ain't got to do all of that. Do all what? I tore it open. Come on, because I'm ready. <laughs> All right. What's the first question? How do you know when I'm mad? Um, you just say, uh, no. When you're mad, you just, you keep talking. I think that's why. That's when I know you're mad. <laughs> why you look at my answer? You didn't even... How it You're go? not doing it right. Here, give okay. me my well, thing let me so see. I can okay. get my answer. All right. Because you just look. Then look. I already said it. Because I probably did. I though. get quiet and say sarcastic things. And you get quiet and go into the room. What did I say? I don't know. Could you give me the things? We did it wrong. Give me those. I get quiet and zone out. Yeah, <laughs> That's I fine. just say, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. Give it here. Here. No, you give got Give me the it. answer. I'm All right, here you go. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> One thing on your bucket list. Let me, can I answer Thank this? Thank you. Okay. Before you turn it over. I said I got it. Okay. Okay. One thing on your bucket list. Yes. What's one thing on my bucket list? To travel. That's one thing on your and bucket list. And what I say? Pay off my parents' home. Yes. Okay. One thing on your bucket list. To travel. That's it. That's all you want to do. To net a million dollars. Whoa, big money. Not gross. <laughs> My turn. What is your very first job? <laughs> nope. Mm. Remember, I never had a job, so would you, what do you? I'm trying to think, I'm trying to focus. Pay less, shoe source. And Pay less. You worked at Kmart? <laughs> So let's see. Your <laughs> very first. Everybody know my first job. Sonic. Yes, I was a Sonic car hop. Yep. And I love the job so bad that um, on my very first day, I peed on myself because <laughs> I was too nervous and I didn't want to ask where the restroom was. So yeah, Sonic. First meal we had together. Chinese buffet. Yes. That was a bit. What'd you say? Mexican food. We ate at Poncho's? Yes. Oh my God. I said the Chinese buffet. Chinese. Because you know why? Because that was the meal I paid for. The Chinese buffet. And that's the only one. So, <laughs> so that's the favorite meal, the first meal, the last. What? No. Shut up. All right. Favorite thing about you um, that you make me laugh. Yep. So the favorite. The favorite thing about you. So how how is that question? I know. That's is that, why I said I, so think, no, I, I, I think you did it wrong because this is like what what's your favorite thing about you? So that would be like the favorite thing about me. Oh, okay. So, so you talked that? about yourself. The favorite thing about you? Yeah. Yeah, that you have a good sense of humor. Okay. Wrong. You don't give up easy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your hair. This not even real hair. How are you gonna say that's the favorite thing about me? You say my eyes or something like that, deep. My hair is not even real. 
trust me, your hair is your favorite thing because you'll be all glued. What did I say? You, you care too much. Yeah, that's And then, then you're about your hair. I didn't put that <laughs> on there. Oh, my God. What is your pet peeve? Oh, you better know mine. What is it? I don't know your pet peeve. Yes, you do. Uh, what do I get mad about? You get mad about people lying. Yeah, I do get mad at it, but that's not my... Oh, pet okay. Peeve. Well, don't see. Okay, but well, what is it? Trash, yeah. Trash not taking out on trash, leaving trash around. Yeah, yes, I know. Trash, you know, I'm like, I'm the only one that take the trash so what, out. Everybody kind of leaves stuff over there, and I got, no, that just bugs okay, me. Okay, and what's mine? <laughs> Lying. You don't like when people lie. No, nah, I don't. You but are, someone chewing with that, yes, yeah, smack it. Oh my God, that's ooh, true. Yeah. <laughs> chewing with their mouth open because <laughs> I smack all the time. <laughs> what, what are you most scared of? You are scared of being alone. Death. Yeah. You're scared of death. Um, I think you're most scared of... Um, I think you're most scared of death. Being broken alone. Aww. Aww. You're never alone. Okay, okay. Even when I die, you keep your little, my little ashes around your neck. I'll always be with you. If you didn't have to worry about money, where would you live? Ooh. Let's see, where would you live? It wouldn't be here. <laughs> It'd be in another country. Okay. Um, let's see. Upside down. Australia, I don't know. I don't know. The Bahamas, the free, <laughs> because of the free health care and no taxes. <laughs> I moved to the Bahamas. But Australia is one of my, my favorite places. Okay. If you didn't have to worry about money, where would you live? Um, I think you would say, like, I don't know, France or something? Anywhere with you, Brazil or Italy. <laughs> okay, really quick, let's go through. What is our most mem memorable date? I don't know, I couldn't think. It was, that one was a hard one. Yours, I say, when we went to the concert, because I had to pick out an outfit, and <laughs> I had to call you, because I was with somebody else, <laughs> to pick the outfit out for you. Yeah, no, that wasn't my most memorable date. What hey. I say? On the cruise when we would serve tiny food. Oh, yes, yeah, when that we was. Went on the cruise. And I think your most memorable date with me is um, every date. <laughs> <laughs> our, fruit, our first true date at Put Put. Oh, yes. Didn't even have that. All so, right, last one. What do you think our song is? Uh, Charlie Wilson forever. Close, but not not forever. This is a Charlie Wilson song. I think. Uh, what you think? You cheated. You cheated. See, I quit. It's you know what? But what did I say? Wifey by the group next, but you cheated. You didn't even guess De the song. Destiny it, by yes. Myron. Yes. Yeah, how does that go? They go, you go by and you can hear it again. But yeah, we sing Wifey together all the time. Yes, so now we, we really don't have a song. That is our song, Wifey. The Destiny, got The be Destiny. Destiny, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you for joining us on this very first episode of the very first season of Reality Check with the Adolphs. We, oh, oh. We, <laughs> we <laughs> that. Hey, we that's the it. first one. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your day. Husband and wife, partners in life, family and business. Through the ups and downs, we've overcome God as a witness. From the household of faith to real estate to what's happening now. We've got something to talk about.